Hey guys, I'm Ithya from Phone Radar and today I'm going to start a new series on this YouTube channel. It's been a long time I've been planning to do a vlogging kind of series where I'll be talking about what I do on a daily basis and also start reviewing smartphones on a regular scheduled basis. What's happening right now is that because of these uh, events which are happening in different places, not just in the country but also internationally, I keep traveling to different uh, places and I end up missing uploading a lot of content on this YouTube channel and uh, that can be only fixed if I start doing a blogging series. I know it won't be in the same conventional way of uh, reviewing smartphones but I think this would be a better way because I would be actually using one phone at a time and I'll be talking about only that phone in that specific video. So today I'll be talking about the Zenfone Zoom smartphone which was launched I think two days back in India at a price of 38,000 rupees and this has the world's slimmest uh, optical zoom that's 3s optical zoom. I did a periscope actually so if you are on periscope don't uh, forget to check out at Amit Bhavani on periscope and you can find out the live streams which I do from uh, different smartphones and I'll talk about these devices. So right now what I'm doing is I'll be testing out this phone today. So let's get started onto the scene. Talking about the low light front camera, here is a demo of the scene. So this clip has been recorded in a pretty low light environment. Again that's not clearly visible here. And that's where the Zenfone's technology is in work. While the rear camera is also doing a fabulous job in terms of the low light environment, you can notice that there is a new mode which is mentioned as low light uh, mode which is in action and doing a very good job. So that's the low light camera demo. Here are a few photos which are captured right now in uh, different environments. This part of the video has been recorded with the Zenfone Zoom's rear camera and there's a lot of noise. Not really impressed with the rear camera in low light conditions. In fact it's not even focusing for some reason, yes. It did take a time while and here we go. Let me quickly switch to a natural light situation and while the video is being recorded let me just zoom into this object that's how fast it is it's time for lunch and uh, following the lunch I would be actually doing an unboxing of uh, Xiaomi's product which I bought it from China so that's the e camera which is a security camera and uh, cost me a very less uh, price i guess it's around uh, 1500 rupees in indian pricing or you can say 150 yuan so stay tuned for the same so i'm having my lunch here and uh, trying to capture a few photo samples from the zenfone zoom and uh, this is a demo of the same touch to focus works great in this uh, artificial light let me just try the optical zoom and it says the minimum focus distance required is 30 second centimeters so let me just push back a little and then tap to focus and as experienced earlier there's a lot of noise but again uh, the picture came out to be pretty decent enough but definitely the normal uh, capture was a better one So here is the e-camera which I spoke about earlier and this is something which I bought from uh, China. This was priced at around uh, 150 yuan which is around 1500 rupees and uh, let's do the unboxing of this and check out what all comes within the same. 
so within the package we have this uh, e camera it's a pretty small one and uh, you can in fact detach this uh, bottom area of this camera and you can just pull this thing out and you can connect this to a micro usb port which is shown here so it's a very convenient camera wherein you can also speak back from your phone to the camera directly which would uh, push the audio through the speakers built in ones and then you have this user manual i had earlier tested another unit because i bought multiple units of this and you can directly connect it to your computer's usb port or even a power bank which means you can set this up anyway while on the go so let me just complete the setup and then uh, show you a quick demo of the same so it's been more than an hour i have been trying to set up this uh, e-camera but it's not working and i think it's because this is an uh, chinese uh, unit and uh, this would only work with the Chinese application so I'll have to re-download the Chinese uh, language application and uh, go ahead with the same so as of now this thing still is pending now let's talk about the uh, Asus Zenfone's uh, zoom camera which also made me a mini movie based on uh, all the photos which were captured on this device and it came out to be pretty good now let's talk about the camera review itself first thing the device uh, lacks a lot of uh, very important things when you are selling a phone at 38,000 rupees and especially the camera being the most important component, I expect this phone to at least offer me 4K video recording. Now that's actually missing on this and the next thing what's uh, missing is a few video options or even some camera options. It does offer a lot of uh, options but they're not really easy to use them and the pictures also have a lot of noise. So I see that there's a lot of uh, software enhancement on these uh, camera quality or the camera samples which have been captured with this that said overall it's an okay kind of camera for the price you are paying but not something which is really worth it like the note 5 which i'm using for this vlog here or the nexus 6p which also has an amazing camera that said this is something which really does not impress me that's what the, that was the review of the asus zenfone zoom smartphone and uh, tomorrow i'll be doing another vlog which i'll be talking about some other new phone and that could be probably the Lenovo K4 Note. Let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and stay subscribed. Thank you.